Yo, what's going on guys? It is your boy Cecil here with a video here today. Bring guys episode number eight of redesigning your PSDs or redesigning your products where basically I redesign your projects and you guys sent to me on Discord and I give it my little twists, my ideas, my direction, just kind of how I would do it because why not, right? So uh, yeah, you guys of course enjoy this series all the time and I'm just like, I'm I'm so thankful for it. I appreciate you guys like for liking the idea of me kind of running through a project and not knowing what I'm doing and then we find out the end results, good or bad. I don't know, but either way. But we have some pretty cool ones. I'm doing another, I'm doing a toby naruto one and a sonic the hedgehog header so uh hopefully they're pretty cool and you guys enjoy them and you guys learn something but with that being said enjoy the video and uh yeah if you guys are new subscribe because if you have just please just write and then leave a like if you guys like it too i love you guys peace all right guys so let's get this thing started right here right now the first project that i have here is a twitch banner designed by sage and it's sort of like this fun little xeon a toby naruto kind of uh uh thing theme so it's actually pretty dope though i got an idea and i uh, uh, like a very i got uh like a literal tiny idea so it's gonna be a little bit difficult for me but you guys love the anime better uh anime better last time so i'm gonna do it again and uh we're gonna try to we're gonna try to spice it up and, and see what we can do so uh let's just i i really really don't know what i'm gonna do <laughs> so uh yeah screw it let's just find out and just start doing it so I do have this little sort of like section mood board-esque kind of like all the assets that I kind of saw on the banner also probably want to use. I didn't actually get any other pictures besides uh, Toby in here. So I might have to go back into like uh, Google and find some cool like Naruto stuff. But this is it. This one's going to be the main kind of picture. Then I'll have this one behind it, I think. Maybe like use all three. I don't know. I really, really don't know like I said before. But uh, let's just try to get this started. First things first for me though, I'm going to drag in this one because I really do like the kind of pose and how nice how like it almost filled a lot of space i want to definitely get this one as my main picture of course i'm going to cut this baby out too a little bit of select subject boom just like that so what i think i'm going to do here as well is i'm of course going to convert this to a smart object i'm going to probably put on a little bit of a color of a, a very simple kind of color correction but at the same time also kind of like make it a little more higher quality with like just using sharpen and like unsharp mask pretty much Okay, however though, now that I have this cut out, what I wanna probably do here is add in, maybe like add in this one over here. Like, I don't know, maybe like, I feel like this dynamic is pretty cool though, if I turn this one this way, right? It's almost like this really fun little dynamic going on over there. And I'm thinking here for this, I'm gonna like put a nice little simple gradient on this, maybe like a black and white, um, but it's black and white enough that you can still kind of see it and like notice it, but not like too crazy. Okay, I actually might have thought of a better idea for this. What if I were to put on filter gallery, but I do circle, right? And not the dotted one, like the dotted halftone, even though it's super cool. However, the circle one, I feel like this whole mask thing is like circular eye thing. Circles might work here. So I'm gonna say like a good amount of contrast, but also you can still notice that it circles like right here. See, like that's a pretty dope look. Like it looks more like a texture than it does actually like a, like a picture or a render. And that's kind of what I'm looking for right now. Okay, so now what I'm feeling like I need to start doing actually is I want to figure out where the color is going to come in. So where I think this can consist of is where we can actually put in our GK kind of font and have this maybe be what kind of carries us in like the, the sort of like color rather than throwing spots around like this font right here could be really fun and cool because having this be the texture is actually really, really easy for me and also just kind of like easy for the entire thing. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I can change it one more time, right? Change the middle one. I can then go ahead and just throw these on a nice white and just lower the opacity just so I can get more texture in the background as well. And just from this alone though, like this little bit of texture that we just did, this kind of fills the kind of like banner and almost gives us an idea. Well, at least gives me an idea, but gives the, 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 the composition just a, a direction, which I feel like I can kind of move with this and I'm gonna start like kind of playing around with it a little more. But um, what I do think for sure we need to do is uh, toss in our picture, or excuse me, our text in as well, uh, to get some like space and kind of figure out where that gonna, where that, where that's gonna sit. English is hard. Uh, where that's gonna sit. I don't know. I think I'm gonna go with this like Barbary, whatever font this is, whatever. I, I think it's cool. It's dope. It's like stylistic enough, but not like too cartoony, but cartoony kind of an idea here. I'm gonna rasterize this really quick and put this opacity up just a little bit. That I don't really kind of touch with it too much. But uh, what is this other thing he have? It just has like Xeon. I'll, I'll do, I'll do like official channel of right for some subtext because i feel like i need it official channel of so let's see what i can actually toss and say like yo what do i have in here he has these by the way i saw this in the header and i was like yo i kind of had these 
over here. Where are they? Right here. I've had stuff like this before from the actual last time I did this. So I'm sure you probably saw this. Maybe you got some inspiration. I have no idea. But like just the idea that I've seen this kind of texture before. Maybe I can just toss this in as well and figure out a way to use this for sure. I think that's kind of how I want to do it there. I think that's that's a really nice look for sure, for sure. Um, but I still want to really like big large group of like color like on this right hand side still so whether or not it's orange or if it's like this pinkish tone which is like more the color around this like uh the, the cloud logo thing here i'm gonna say do something like this Ooh, okay hold on so like where where would this end like right here right this is kind of like a nice little stopping point for this to end that's pretty dope okay we're ge we're getting somewhere and i'm starting to feel it a little in my in my in my I'm gonna i'm feeling it <laughs> Okay, I'm feeling it. So let's just say, all right, this is looking good here. Let's say, you see over here on his example, he has a few pictures inside of his. I definitely wanna do that as well, but I actually don't even know what these people, who these people are, to be honest. Like I don't really watch the Naruto series like that. A lot of you guys are probably just like, oh, it's just this guy. I, I'm like, I don't know this guy. I'm so sorry. Uh, but maybe I just, just get regular Naruto people or like, is this Sasuke? I think this is Sasuke. Okay, I don't wanna say things actually. I really don't know. I think that's Sasuke, and this has to be Naruto for sure, right? Because I see the eyes, I see like the little helmet thing. I could be, and the orange. Am I wrong? I think I'm wrong. So I got me a little picture of Sasuke. Again, I have no idea if this is what it is. I'm not gonna, I can't even find anything remotely close to what this is because I don't know how to Google it. So I'm gonna just find this little picture right here. His eyes looking pretty dope, right? For some reason, we're just kind of like, you know, throw in the, 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 the kind of like cast, like in this case, right? And I'm just gonna say this looks super dope. I turn on my gradient. I'm like, okay, this looks okay too. So now I'm a little stuck because do I want to do like more? No, I want to definitely do like, it would have to be more purple or more pink. However, I'm not gonna lie. When I was doing this, when I switched to kind of like the, the, the highlights and shadows, this over here looks more like stylistically fun, I think for this case, um, even when it was white, like that right there looks pretty cool. Um, just because it kind of like feels, it almost feels more correct than I would like it to, to be honest. Um, and maybe it's because like the eyes at least are like showing really easily and like this really nice highlight on his face right here. Um, but what if I were to add in like the same sort of like circle pattern? Maybe not the circle pattern, but maybe the dots here in this case, cause I, I, don't, I didn't like how the circle pattern looked. Press okay. I mean, the circle pattern definitely does look fun. Actually, let me throw this on a smart object and do that. So something like this, like oh, everybody's eye, right? I think it's a really fun thing to play off of. So I'm gonna kind of erase it on this side over here. So this is this this block will still be kind of orange, right? And then nothing over here. And now I'm thinking like, if I wanna erase things like that over there, do I wanna erase like his nose here or leave it? Like, I'm not sure, but it's like a little fun kind of dynamic if I kind of erase where I don't think it should be necessarily seen, like right here, of course, right? Since I feel like the one cool thing about Toby or whatever, I'm again, I don't really watch too much, but it's, you know, he does, he has like one eye with a circle. It's very dynamic, very, or unique. And like, maybe everyone's just eyes are showing in this, in this like thing. I have no idea. I'm going off of just like ideas. Um, but yeah, right. So I just type to uh, tap in real quick. Then of course I'm going to add in that same sort of like a uh, half tone pattern thing. And really quick, what I just realized is do I want to just go ahead and add in some fun, like custom swirls. Okay. Don't, like, don't get me wrong. I'm not sure, but. I feel like at least this swirl is like really clean. I like this swirl. I might even take this swirl, throw it on this little bottom part over here. Um, or even just, I'll try to make another one. I don't know. I don't know if swirls are exactly kind of like the exact thing that I want, or at least in the same as that color. Maybe it's the color that I don't like. Maybe I want to use like pink over on this side, orange on the other side. Can just kind of like draw these colors together, right? Like that's kind of fun right there. Let's see what else I have in here. Um, I do have a shuriken. Right, and then I can also type like throw in here. Now I'm pretty sure, right, that like these little markings on here are probably not. Th they're important for like you know if, it's, if like Leaf Village and stuff like that. But we're not really like trying to focus on like Naruto that much. So I'm actually just gonna get rid of them, even if these shurikens are like his in this case or whatever. I'm just gonna say, yo, I want to at least get rid of the branding on it. That way it looks more kind of like neutral, right? Just a little bit of added texture. Now of course I'm actually kind of not feeling this one over here this uh this little this little thing right here i'm not really feeling that right there so i'm gonna kind of delete it i'm also really not feeling it right behind here as well like whatever this is i'm not feeling it right here anymore it's very sporadic it's very fun it's very energized or whatever um however i do feel a bit of a disconnect 
on the actual header person himself, like this guy right here, uh, Toby, the main kind of uh, the focus one. And I don't know if it's because it's not dark enough to kind of match the area around it, but that's what I feel like. So I'm actually gonna go into it and color correct it just to make it feel a little bit more connected, I think is kind of how I'm feeling that right there. Oh, I didn't save this project yet. All right, I just saved the project. Don't, don't, just, you gotta save your projects. Uh, okay, right, that looks really good like that, right? The little swirls and stuff is actually a really good touch. I'm feeling a way to kind of make this even more fun and sporadic is I'm gonna toss in some of these other things. So I have this little, I have these little sort of scratchy anime like slashes that I can just toss in an illustrator. This is kind of what I was thinking. Toss in an illustrator. I can toss in as like this little extra added kind of value slash like texture. Now, whether or not where I put it, I have no idea, but like throwing it in here just like for now. I also have this thought, if I remember this correctly, right? We had this little texture in the background that is basically getting covered up now. What if I were to go ahead and duplicate it like three times or two more times, combine those together, then I'll use like a nice little layer mask, lower the opacity just a little bit, but I take the layer mask and go into this with like a nice lower brush opacity and kind of just make gradients almost like a little darker in some areas, a little lighter in some other areas. Right, I'm definitely liking how that looks right there. Now, I'm not even sure. Will this even look cool if I add in on, on like noise on this kind of like thing right here? Right, just like adding this noise texture can be kind of fun. Oh, even, oh wait, even adding it on the circles could be kind of fun too. Who said I can't have two textures on it? That's like a fun way to kind of like draw in, you know, like the, that, the, I just, there's something wrong with this element over here. It's like a really fun like texture, like splash piece almost, but it's just like, there's nothing drawing to it or like, you know, or, or giving love back toward it, right? So if I made a little bit of noise right here, it's still that circle pattern, but now there's noise on this too. And now I'm just like, I wanna add noise everywhere at this point. But at least having these little two things here have that noise is a very fun little added touch. And I'm, I'm a fan. I'm actually kind of a fan of how that looks. Realistically, I just wanted to just show you guys really quick. Like, I don't have to add all these elements. Look how cool this would also look with just a black, very simple, very just a little bit of splashes. This is still really, really dope on its own. But this little added color just adds a little more character, a little more fun. I'm just showing you guys that I know, like, you know, more does not equal better. But I feel like in this case, it's fun and I'm running away with it. I feel like, and it's just like, it's working for me and I kind of like it. Now, of course, last but not least, throw it into a nice little smart object layer, throw it into camera raw filter and give it this last little sort of texture or not texture, a little bit of color correction stuff. So a little bit on the blacks, up on the shadows, a little bit of uh, texture for why not? A little bit of clarity to make that noise look really, really good. I'm actually gonna go with a lower saturation, higher vibrancy look to it. So if you can see real quick, Right, this is super vibrant over here. I'm gonna go a little bit of lower saturation because I feel like it looks pretty good like that. And then if I want to, I can even add in a little bit of sharpening, right? Make all that look really, really nice. And effects, I think there's grain in here, right? Maybe just a little bit of grain, a tad bit. I say a tad bit, but yeah, I put it on 14, but it's still like not that much, but like it's, it's a little bit, right? Just a little bit of grain. Boom, press okay. And I feel like I got myself a pretty good header. Now, what I will do for you guys right now is I'll throw in, of course, the before and after for you guys to see it and look at it. But for me, I think I did a pretty good job at least including some of the kunais or shurikens. I mean, no, they're, they're kunais, right? And of course, having, of course, Xeon name, the Toby render. I didn't use red, but overall, still a very, very fun and just like really fun approach just because I wanted, I don't know, I just felt some type of way. I wanted to do something different and this is what I landed on. So you guys let me know, of course, how I did in the comment section below. But yo, uh, this is my attempt and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let's go on to the next one. All right, guys, so let's jump into the next project designed by Ultimate Graphic Designer Danny. I wanted to make sure I said it in full. That way you know what his name was. Um, it's a Sonic Twitch banner or Twitter banner in this case right this time. Um, it's looking pretty good. I honestly chose to redesign this because I just thought the idea between this like black and white comic book esque idea was so, so dope. And realistically, the composition here is actually pretty much what I would probably do myself. Um, but I just want to kind of spice it up with a little bit more different character renders by just finding some off of Google. Again, I think very, very highly, of course, like when it comes down to this render right here, it's a really cool idea in action. However, the render quality, I think matters so much. And hopefully I can show you guys right now uh, when I redesign it, what I mean by that. So uh, let's just hop into this thing. All right, so you guys can be aware, however, this is my little uh, kind of like, like collage of all the stuff that he used. Um, most of these pictures actually over here are the same ones from him uh, in here. I just think we throw in like a sort of 
we're probably gonna use half tones again. I don't know. I just think like the, that, that like texture idea from that fil uh, filter all thing from the other banner is probably what I'm gonna do again because I feel like it would look really, really good here. But also, I want to redesign what he did here. But I'm actually gonna drag this in for a second, right? I want to kind of redesign what he did here, not because it's bad, but I just want to redo it, uh, but like in a different kind of like way. So it's a little more kind of like skinny to thick to thick to skinny. So it's very, very characteristic in that sense. And just like that, we're good. So this is now what I want. I think it's pretty good. This is my attempt at his, which is basically the same thing. Just want to shrink a little bit around the corners just because I thought it would look a little bit cooler and then I just, just want to change it up. Um, okay, so now that we have this render here, I'm not gonna lie, if I look at this, this kind of like, like if I got rid of everything for a second, besides just those two things, this like interaction is actually kind of cool. Like pretend if this was behind, wait, hold up. What if this was behind, this is like a happy little accident. We love those um kind of like going like this this is this this would be behind this would be in front so like like if i duplicated this put it above it right took the eraser and said yo homie's foot he's going through it right now boom he's going through oh, okay <laughs> didn't, i didn't expect that i didn't expect it to look like that cool that simple that easy that shadow right here that's right here already it works for us so that means i think right here behind his foot we're just gonna toss in a shadow um, that was not expecting that to go that well. Boom, and just like that, we are all shadowed up, and I think that looks really, really good. So, really quickly as well, oh, where all my pictures go, I forgot. Uh, really quickly as well, he does have a picture behind this one right here. Oh, he has another shadow thing right here. A little, like, little clip thing right there. Do I want to do that too? I might as well. Now, if I'm honest, the first thing I immediately just noticed is that I can't really put it in front of this because I really, really, really love this kind of focal point right here. So I'm kind of wondering, like, do I like move this over? Like, oh, there's a lot of shadows in this thing. Let me like kind of like group this together for a second. Do I move this entire thing just over this way and then move Dan Dan like this way and then the pictures go on this side? Or do I keep this middle focused? And try to like work around what I would have done if he would also keep it middle focus, which of course he ran into the same exact trouble that I'm running into right now, where the name is like in the way, right? So how do I solve this? I have no no idea whatsoever. So what I actually might end up doing here is this one is pretty cool, but I don't know if it's it's a little bit too hard to read. That's the only issue with this. Um, but what I might do here is almost make like a UI sort of idea here. So like if I did like so right here he has no subtext, right or whatever. So I'm kind I'm kind of good to do what I want to do. So I'm gonna say start, start game, maybe start new game, and then continue, and then like settings. I feel like those are like your main things you'll see. I don't gotta go too crazy with it. I'll just kind of need is like three, right? I'll make this pretty small and kind of just have this be what I would do to solve the idea if I didn't want to have this in the way, right? But the thing is, this is working only because we're on a gray banner actually. So what I should probably do real quick is toss in a photo that we're gonna use for the background. Oh my God, that is so pretty. Uh, yeah, right there. Let's just use this one, I think. I think I, I like, I chose this one because like the blue is a little bit different than the blue on this head. Um, so of course, I think it just makes it a little more contrasty, right? And we'll go in here and kind of just delete all this stuff that doesn't need to be right there. That's perfect. Now there is a Sonic head behind here. It's a little bit confusing looking at the head right here. That's my only complaint right now at this case. So I might just make this a little bit bigger. That would get rid of it all. How about that? What I can do now um, is I'm gonna go ahead and say, yo, let's do a little drop shadow action here just because I feel like it's a little bit necessary. Not a heavy one, right? A very, very clean, sort of clean drop shadow. Nothing too crazy. Boom, that's kind of perfect the way I like it. All right, so then all I gotta do is go back over here. What I'm gonna do for myself is make different shapes that go in this shape here, right? So this would be one shape. So the issue is, is the blue, the background is so, so perfect over here in this area is so perfect. I need a way to kind of make this a secondary muted idea rather than a celebrated idea. So what I'm gonna say to myself is what gradient am I gonna use right now? But maybe, maybe they're just maps of these on the left hand side, then that can match the background over here, right? So let me just show you guys. See, now when I'm looking at it, I'm like, okay, this is actually kind of dope. Now I'm just gonna quickly just use this mask and just kind of like roughly erase this over here. Uh, that's definitely a lot more what I wanna have over here. But is it? I don't know. Oh God, I, I, I'm, I'm having an, a literal argument in my head right now. I don't know if this is like a thing for everybody, but I am literally having an argument I have with myself. Uh, I'm just like, dude, do this color, do this, dude, no, do this one. Maybe it's a pattern, maybe it's not. Dude, I'm having, <laughs> I have issues, I think. Oh my God, I think I have an idea. Wait, so real quick, just so you guys can like follow where I'm at real quick. 
So I'm kind of, I was just thinking right to myself, I was like, maybe it's the bars, right? Maybe the bars are like a fun idea, but not something that I personally can't execute or personally am a fan of past the fact that I thought it was a cool idea. Now, the idea behind it is really cool. What I might have just kind of like didn't register in my head was the idea that the, the fact that I just kind of liked how it was laid out from like left to like bottom right in that kind of way. So what I was going to say was, why can't I do that with the rings? Right, because I feel like, of course, when you think Sonic, you think rings, and you think I'm going through a lot of rings, right? So the the idea right here that I was looking at, um, because immediately I already knew I was gonna throw a ring in one of these things, right? So I immediately was like, okay, ring somewhere like over here, so oops. so like ring somewhere over here or whatever. But I just love the idea that this is literally could just be like a you know all, all here's ding ding ding, kind of like going through these, right? I don't know why, but that's kind of like where my head is at. So why can't I do that by getting rid of the like all of this, right? Which means this background picture will have like a little bit of a, you know, like it'll have Sonic here again, but a little bit bigger of a, of a shot, right? But we don't really care about this image, like this spot right here, because what's gonna happen here is I'm just gonna literally color this in with black. Like now, right? Why can't I just have these pictures now sit in here? I think what I have here is still really, really cool and really dope in that kind of sense right here. I don't know why I'm not satisfied with it. I just think there's something I can do, but maybe there's such something I really, probably just can't I'm like overthinking the heck out of what I can possibly do but what I'm gonna go ahead and say is I honestly think this is like all I actually probably want to do I tried a lot but I didn't as like much layer wise right and you can see I got maybe like 10 layers excluding like uh uh this right here like right so Realistically, this is almost like a complete different contrast than the other thing we just did um but I just think it's just so clean like this like maybe the, the most max thing I think I can do for, for us here is maybe add in Sonic the Game UI, right? Like some kind of UI elements, not like a thing like that, but like score time rings. That's I think in almost like what all the Sonic games, right? That could be something I can probably add in to texturize with type that I think is actually a pretty cool idea if I did that. So pretty much, this is kind of how I'm gonna end it off right here. So I do have this right here. I kind of like did a little typography here in the bottom right hand side. And then a little typography texture with a score, time, and rings, I think looks pretty freaking dope, pretty phenomenal, pretty clean. And might I say the pretty, pretty much the complete opposite layer wise we did last time, but I think this is kind of how I wanna have it. This is dope, this is sick, it's simple, it's clean, you get the idea, and we think we killed it. So. For you guys right now, of course, with the before and after one that Danny did and the one that I just did just now, of course, Danny's idea is really, really dope, more comic booky, putting these ideas and these like really fat lined kind of shapes and whatnot. And for me, I kind of took the same idea, but use rings though, because why not? Sonic rings make sense. Overall, I think the idea is pretty dope. Overall, I think we both killed it and I just hope you guys enjoy mine as well. So with that being said, guys, that is the end of the video here today. So I do hope you guys have a fantastic day, fantastic weekend and the week ahead, of course, right? So that's pretty much it. Yeah, I mean, if you guys enjoyed the video, please sure to leave a like on the video. Of course, subscribe if you guys have not already. Of course, if you watch all the way through and you listen to me right now at this moment in time, I love you, just so you guys know. And if you're not listening, you just will never know that I love you. So just like a missed opportunity with like girls. And that being said, I love you guys so very much. Sesso HQ out. Do not forget to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking productive, guys. I love you guys so very much. Later, peace, enjoy the day.